Hello, this is the voice of Mike, and I will be reading another book in the line of Disney's Wonderful World of Reading. Uh, this time, it's Todd and Copper from The Fox and the Hound. One spring morning, Big Mama the Owl sat watching the world. She saw Mother Fox run out of the woods. The fox raced across the field. Near the fence, she dropped something in the grass. Then the fox ran back into the woods. Suddenly, Big Mama heard a gunshot. The mother fox did not return. Oh, dear, said Big Mama. Maybe a hunter killed that poor fox. Big Mama wanted to see what the fox had dropped. She flew down to the fence. There was a baby fox. Oh, my, said Big Mama. We'll have to find a home for you. Big Mama called her friends over to see the fox. I think we need Mrs. Tweed's help, she said. Mrs. Tweed owned a farm nearby. Right now, she was in the barn, milking a cow. Mrs. Tweed heard a lot of noise outside. She ran out to see what was the matter. Some birds were making a fuss by the fence. I'm coming, called Mrs. Tweed. Mrs. Tweed found the baby fox, and she took it home with her. She named the little fox Todd. Mrs. Tweed took good care of him. Every day, Todd played with the farm animals. One day, Todd followed a butterfly right into the woods. In the woods, Todd found an old cabin. The cabin belonged to a hunter named Amos Slade. Amos had an old dog named Chief and a new hound pup named Copper. Chief was a hunting dog. Copper was going to be a hunting dog, too. Chief was a fine hunter when he was awake. Copper had a good sense of smell. Today he smelled something different. Copper went to see what the new smell was. His nose led him straight to a hollow log. At the end of the log, he saw Todd, the little fox. What are you doing? asked Todd. Tracking something, said Copper. What are you tracking? Todd asked. I think it's you, said Copper. The little fox began to laugh. The puppy laughed, too. By the time they finished laughing, Todd and Copper were friends. Todd and Copper played together every day. They did not know that foxes and hounds were not supposed to be friends. Amos Slade did not know who Copper played with, but one day he tied Copper up. I don't want you running around, Amos told the puppy. Good hunting dog, stay put. Todd came to see his friend. I can't play with you anymore, said Copper. I have to stay here. Who's that big dog? asked Todd. Be careful, said Copper. That is Chief. Don't wake him up. But Chief was already awake. He opened one eye and saw the little fox. The old dog growled. Todd was scared. He raced off as fast as he could. Todd ran into the hen house. The hens were afraid of him. They jumped up and squawked. Squawk, squawk, squawk. Todd got out of the hen house. Fast. Amos Slade heard the hen squawking. He came out of his cabin and saw the fox. Stay away from my chickens, yelled Amos. If I see you again, you'll be sorry. Summer ended and fall came. It was time for Amos to teach Copper how to hunt. We're going on a long hunting trip, Amos told Copper and Chief. He loaded up his truck. The dogs were both excited. Copper sat in the back of the truck. He saw his friend Todd by the road, and Todd saw his friend Copper going away. Both Todd and Copper felt sad. They would miss each other. A lonely Todd went to see Big Mama. When Copper comes back next spring, she said, he won't be your friend anymore. That's not true, said Todd. Copper and I will always be friends. All winter, Amos taught Copper to be a hunting dog, just like Chief. At first, it was hard work, but by the end of winter, Copper knew how to hunt. Copper was even smarter and faster than Chief. 
Now I have two good hunting dogs, Amos said proudly. Amos, Chief, and Copper came home in the spring. Copper felt very important. He was a big dog now, with a big job. A few days later, Todd came to visit. Chief was sleeping, as usual. Hi, Copper, said Todd. You've really grown. Yes, Todd, said Copper. So have you. Chief was having an exciting dream. It was a dream about foxes. In the dream, Chief heard some voices. Slowly he opened one eye, and there was a real fox. Todd and Copper did not know that Chief was waking up. Are we still friends? asked Todd. We can't be friends any more, said Copper. I'm a hunting dog now. All at once, Chief leaped at Todd. The big dog growled and barked. Run, Todd, run, Copper shouted. Amos Slade dashed out of his cabin. There's that fox again, he cried. This time he won't get away. Amos quickly untied the dogs. They both started chasing the fox. Todd knew he was in terrible danger. He ran for his life. Through the woods, across the fields, up a cliff, Todd ran and ran. He looked behind him. The dogs were still following. Finally, Todd was too tired to run anymore. He hid under a stack of boards. It was a good hiding place. Chief went right by. But Copper had a good nose. He came along, sniffing the ground. His nose led him straight to Todd. Todd was trapped. He had no place to go. Copper heard Amos climbing up the cliff. I don't want you to be killed, Todd, said Copper. I will let you go. Amos caught up with Copper. Which way to go, boy? asked Amos. Copper pretended to sniff. Then Copper led Amos away from Todd's hiding place. Soon Amos and the dogs were gone. Todd crawled out of his hole and ran for home. Now he knew what hunting dogs did. They hunted foxes. Todd found Mrs. Tweed at the fence. Someone's been chasing you, she said. She hugged the fox. I'm glad you're safe, she told him. That night, Todd thought about his friend Copper, and Copper thought about his friend Todd. They both knew that they could never play together again, but Todd knew that he loved Copper, and Copper knew that he loved Todd. That would never change. The End